All right, here's a video for you guys that want to mount a bird, but aren't sure yet. So you're just like, okay, I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I'm gonna wait to see if I'm really gonna do it or not. So how you want to prep the bird is, so it don't go bad in the freezer, and so the taxidermist don't get a mangled up piece of junk, is first and foremost, lay your bird out, make sure it's all pretty, you know what I mean? Make sure it's a bird you actually want to mount. My taxidermist, he, he, he specifically requested a Drake pintail and a Drake hen. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to wrap it up for him. So when he gets to it, he can get to it. First thing, you want to get you a wet paper towel. Not dripping wet, but moist. But what you want to do is you want to keep everything moist. First thing you want to do is get you a little piece about that big right there. Fold it up. It's a small ball. It's actually too big right there. Fold it up into a small ball. That's about the perfect size you want right there. You want to put it into his mouth about as far down as you can get. And what that's going to do is that's going to catch any blood that's going to regurgitate out of his neck. You know what I mean? That way the blood doesn't come out on your bird and stain it. With taxidermists, they can normally get the blood out pretty well. So put it in his mouth just like that there. And now it's going to hold the moisture in. It's going to catch the blood when it comes out. Secondly, <clears throat> what you want to do is get you another piece about this big. Moist, wet. You want to wrap it around the bill. Don't go too far up. Matter of fact, we're gonna do the square edge. Do the square edge right where his feathers begin on his bill. And you wanna wrap the bill as best as you can and kind of fold it back. Once it's folded, it'll kind of mad to itself, just like so. It'll be stuck. All right, now that part's done. Turn it over, be careful how you lay his wings down, you don't want to bend the wings back. Next, get you another piece. None of this is cut to size, you don't even know your exact measurements. Just get you something that can cover this whole foot up. You want to wrap his foot with a wet paper towel. At the beginning, right where his feathers start, you don't want to put them feathers inside of there. You want to keep them feathers out. Wrap it like so. Pull the tip over. Kind of squeeze it together a little bit. Like so. Do the same for the other side. Like I said, be careful you don't wrap the... Uh, the feathers in with it. You want just the leg. And don't be scared when these birds got rigor mortis whenever they're all stuck and not moving too much. You can you can move them all around and stuff. Like they're not going to break. When they're frozen they will. But right now when they're a little stiff you can move them. So once he's wrapped up strategically flip him back over or her back over on her stomach like so and I see a lot of people they'll tuck the head under the wing like so but a lot of times if you let them sit in the freezer for too long they'll freeze and when you bring the head out the heads will just snap off so best way to do it and so you have plenty of room inside your bag fold it back like so just like that Small surface area. Feathers aren't messed up at all. Nothing's getting binded up, nothing's getting bent. Hold on, before you do it, make sure it's, everything's folded down, picture perfect. You don't wanna freeze it or put it in a bag with it all looking all jacked up. See? Rigor mortis, don't worry about that. Get its feather perfect, lay it, give it a little squeeze, small surface area. And you go to Walmart, get these hefty bags right here. These are 2.5 gallon. 
the two gallons are kind of small. 2.5 is perfect, especially for these larger ducks. What you want to do is put it in chest and chest first, tucked in to a corner of the bag. That way you can preserve your tails. You don't want the end feathers to get all jacked up. So you want to push them in like so, kind of squeeze them in there, kind of pick it up, get him in there. You can kind of move him around once he's there, get him in position. Just like so. Not too tight, but not too loose either. Close the bag up just a hair so enough room can escape with the air. And then roll this side like so. Start rolling. Try to keep it tight. Imagine like a taco a burrito. Slowly so you're not binding any feathers up. And you see right here how this pin tail, these feathers are perfectly in line with the point right here. Nothing's getting jacked up. Nothing's bent. Everything's perfect down there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Get the last little bit of air out. Once the air is out, and give it like an extra little squeeze down here. Strategically zip it up. Boom. Once that's there, get you some 3 m tape. It don't matter what time. Get you a little bit of tape like this right here. Start it right at the zip spot so it doesn't unzip on you give it a soft wrap around nothing tight but just something to pretty much block that from unzipping and block it from coming open in the freezer make it look a little prettier than that, that looks so ugly. once that's there once you have it tight and you know it's sealed like so heads folded back perfectly Tail isn't getting jacked up in there. For extra measure, put one more small piece of tape right over the zip part. Extra security, and boom, there you go. Ready for the freezer.